Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Chloe. And if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And I just wanna say if you ended up clicking on this video, thank you so much. And hopefully you will stay until the end. So today we have a massive clothing haul. It's a mix of lounge pieces and activewear. And I purchased everything with my own money. This video isn't sponsored. So the brands that are featured today are Alphalete, Gymshark, Aritzia, Champion, Blue Lemon, Balance Athletica, Set Active, and Buff Bunny. In this video, you will see some clothes that may have appeared in my previous videos, but then if this is your first time on my channel, then you're in it for a ride. And yes, we have leggings, sports bras, workout tops, and then for the lounge pieces, we have like camis, hoodies, joggers, sweatpants, uh, sweaters and yeah it's really a mix of everything today and also I'll be adding my measurements in the description box below along with the names of the pieces the sizes that I got and probably the colors but then I'm not sure if these colors are still available on the website but then there are other colors that are there for sale I do not want to take up so much time in the introduction part so let's actually get started okay honestly I will be starting with the miscellaneous brands because I only have one of each from those brands but it's going to be short so I'll be starting off with Gymshark these are the vital seamless leggings and I got it in a size medium so it has a ribbed waistband and then subtle contour details the color is really light though so they're not squat proof but I like how this holds up really well especially in your workouts and the fabric is pretty thin and stretchy the waistband is just the only part of the leggings that compresses you that holds you in and it's also made with a knit material i think some colors are in markdown on their website i'm not sure if they're sold out i'm pretty sure they're sold out because this is a very popular line especially the vital seamless 2.0 i have not tried the 2.0 yet i was looking to try those but then it's not really marked down as much as i thought you know because i expected 50 to 60 percent off but then it was like 20 to 30 so the the markdown price isn't really that great either but i really like these for working out they hold up well you just have to be careful with the colors that you get because they won't be squat proof like this one so yes i will include a try on clip and you will see how sheer they are okay yes we're moving on okay next they're not leggings they're more of the sweatpants so these are from aritzia i am not sure as well if they're on sale i think they started already but then that's for clientele but i'm not part of that these are from one of their house brands called tna these are their perfect pocket sweatpants i believe limited colors are available they have cups at the bottom there's like a fleece lining inside i had this for a long time now so that's why you won't be able to see this color on their website and this is a size medium and probably 7 8 in length if not um 27 inches long like the inseam and the rise is pretty short so you could get issues if you size down but i recommend sizing up in these in case if you want them to fit more oversized but then they also have another line i think it's called the mega fleece sweatpant where it's like an oversized fit because this one is more of like a skinny or slim fit i'm not really familiar with aritzia i just check out their stuff like once in a while so yeah the waistband is also short so it doesn't really cover much so we're done with this one okay i have a sweater this time it's from champion this is actually a gift to me but then I don't really like the fit. I mean, I like the material. I like how it really keeps me warm. This is how it's like inside. It's like a waffle knit, I think. And then this one, I'm not sure if you can see it properly, but then that's how it looks. So I think Champion is the brand that made sweat sets more popular. Because I know Champion is like one of the older brands when it comes to producing sweaters or yeah, those kinds of things with their logos. And then suddenly, all of the prices of sweat sets went up. I don't know what happened, but yeah. It's called a reverse weave. And then this is already in a size large. And it's not a crop length or 
a length that meets the waistband, the top of your leggings or something like that, I wish I got a larger fit. Or maybe it's because I like oversized tops these days, like oversized sweaters, oversized hoodies, which is why this isn't really my favorite. So yeah, if you like those regular classic slim fit type of sweaters, then you should definitely check out Champion. We're done with the miscellaneous section. So now we're still sticking to the lounge theme. So I will talk about Balance Athletica. I just have three pieces. I'm not sure if they still have these probably in their men's section, but then you're familiar with these. They're the select joggers. So this is in a size large and this is in a medium. This was featured in my Balance try and haul from way back then. <laughs> if you're familiar with the Lululemon Ready to Lulu joggers, they're pretty comparable, but then these fit tighter than those. The front seam is pretty invasive regardless of what size you get, but to lessen that, if like if that's an issue for you, you should definitely size up, especially also if you want an oversized fit. Yes, that's why I prefer the large in these select joggers, but then this medium, it's pretty stretchy. I think it's stretchier than this one, probably because this is older and I wasn't able to feature these joggers. It's nice and simple. They have a V seam at the back, which flatter your glutes. I think they're known for that. And yes, this is how the waistband looks like. And then there's a balance logo somewhere. Yes, here, then two pockets on the side, and then it's cuffed at the bottom. This is the only tight part. So if you stay true to size, you might find the waistband digging into your stomach if you don't like to feel that way, I guess you could size up. But then if you want them to fit like leggings, because actually these are legging joggers in my opinion. So you could definitely stick true to size, but then if you find that there's a lot of extra fabric, you could size down. You just have to be careful with the waistband. And then next we have the maker hoodie. I'm not sure if they're still available in all sizes, probably in limited sizes now. There was a random sale, so that's when I was able to get this. This is in a size medium M. This was supposed to be for my brother, but then we were both surprised at how big it was. So I ended up getting this. It's still really oversized. And what's nice about this is that it's like perforated in the front. It's like they intentionally had the fabric lifted or I don't know what you call it, embossed. I guess that's the term that I was looking for. It's just like a regular hoodie with fleece lining inside. The fleece is pretty good and it really keeps you warm. So highly recommend this one on sale for sure. If you haven't checked them out, if you should, and definitely worth the price on sale. <laughs> Hopefully they'll release more colors in the future, but then yeah, now's a good time to purchase this maker hood. Yeah, <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're done with balance. Okay, next I will review another activewear set. And yes, it's from Set Active. You actually see so many celebrities wearing Set Active. I believe it also became popular through social media. I did not buy from Set Active directly because they also charge customs and extra for shipping. So I ended up shopping Set Active on Poshmark and Depop. I was able to get their pieces from their Skull Flex collection. These are these Sculpflex leggings in the color Spritz and then the old Sculpflex sports bra. It's the box cut, I think. I will start with this one first. So yes, it really looks so tiny and I think this is one of their older pieces because it still had like their old sizing where it's like in between. So yes, I was able to get this for $15 on Poshmark, 15 Canadian dollars, so pretty thrilled about that. And then I like their logo, it's just a set. And then it's a nice ribbed material, very stretchy. One thing about this sports bra though, you really cannot wear this for working out, probably for yoga. This is more of like a classic lounge bra and there's no padding. So, okay, I've made this inside out and there's no place where you can put cup pads inside. Since this is the old sizing, my only problem is the straps. Um, they're pretty short for my frame, I guess. I guess I should stick to large or extra large if ever they have these. If you're not comfortable with uh, having your nipples shown while wearing this outside, then I don't recommend this one. 
and they actually have cute colors that's why i was first drawn to set active we're done with the sports bra and then now i have the skull flex leggings there's so much hype around these leggings i was like really there was actually so much hype with set active in general and with their skull flex line so i was really curious and then i found these on poshmark for 20 dollars honestly i had high expectations only to find out it's just not really what i'm looking for something like that 88 percent microfiber nylon 12 percent spandex so this is in a size medium these are very thick in my opinion i wore these once during the summer and i was like what i i was like why am i feeling so suffocated i mean the waistband fits well and if you're in between sizes by the way i recommend sizing up and it has minimal stretch especially on the knees that's what i've noticed but then this part, the lining on the side, it's pretty soft. It's much softer than the rest of the leggings. The waistband on the Sculptflex leggings is softer than the ribbed waistband of the Vital Seamless leggings from Gymshark. There's a bit of stretch, but then it's not as stretchy as the Vital Seamless. Not really much to say. Probably I would have appreciated the shorts more. They also have like a minimal branding or minimal logo branding on the cuff part of the leggings they're more for lifestyle which is just not as stretchy as expected but yeah this is set active we're done with set active okay i guess we're heading to lululemon right now and i just have three pieces from them to review there are many more lululemon hauls to come it's just that i think i should let you know about these just in case let's start with the swiftly tech line i'm not sure if they sell this specifically but they sell the swiftly tech razorback the swiftly tech short sleeve in both regular length and in the race length they also have the long sleeve version of the swiftly tech both in the regular length and the race length and if you're able to get your hands on the regular length just know you can have it hemmed for free um if you have a store nearby i believe this material is really good for working out this is how it looks like here in the front and here at the back and they're more of like the body hugging type so if you don't like that you could definitely size up from your normal size and this also is like a reflective detail so really nice for running thin breathable and stretchy definitely check the swiftly line if you're on the hunt for workout tops and i'm pretty sure they'll go on sale so just watch out for that they have a sleeveless short sleeve long sleeve multiple lengths so yes and they're available in lots of colors and hopefully they'll restock but yes this is it for the swiftly swiftly tops <laughs> okay next i have a pair of shorts and even if temperatures are beginning to drop like because winter is coming i still wear them at home just not outside but then that's okay these are the invigorate high rise shorts in the 10 inch if you're looking out for lululemon items on black friday you should check their we made too much section because that's where they usually put all of the pieces that got marked down something like that so yes back to the shorts so the invigorate line they have a drawstring here and then it's pretty much double lined by the waistband so it's really compressive nice and high-waisted especially if you have a longer torso i think i recommend the invigorate so it's very compressive as well and it really gives you a snatched waist pockets on both sides even if the pockets aren't big enough but then that's okay i recommend staying true to size for this line or you could size up if you do not want too much compression so yeah there's also a mini pocket here probably for coins and keys and this is how the back looks like it's actually sleek on the inside so when you wear it it's like cool to the touch on the inside and then and then outside it's like brushed i would say a sturdier version of nulu but then it's brushed and kind of gives you like a matte feel i think i've mentioned this before i don't want to be repetitive the only thing about these is that they're 10 inches long i prefer six inch or an eight inch i think the eight inch is a good in between and also six inch perfect for casual but yeah but 10 inches too long for me but they really hold up well and they're really good for working out and the Everlux fabric attracts a lot of hair, but then for this one, it doesn't really attract a lot of substances or items or, wait, what? Or hair, in short, lint, there you go. We're done with these shorts. 
And the last item from Lululemon is a pair of leggings and I think they'll go on sale but then they've become popular over time. It's just one of their newer styles so this is the first time that I got to try them. So these are called the Swift Speed. Swift Speed high rise tight in the 28 inch. I wanted to get this in the 25 inch but then it ran out of stock so I ended up with 28 which works for me too but I just really prefer the 7 8 length. The waistband is pretty unique, it's like pretty much inverted and I believe this style will make your hips look wider so that's like that in my case. Double lined waistband, nice and compressive. These pockets remind me of the Athleta Salutation Stash pocket where it's like kind of invisible. Like, you won't really feel it, unless you put something, of course, but it's not the type that will show a lot, you know? Something like that. Then below, there are reflective details, so these are more for running. Oh yes, they're made with Luxstream or Full and Luxstream, so they're really more for that running or working out type of tights. This is how the back looks like. There's a zipper. Let's see. The pocket isn't really that deep but then that's okay i guess that's for if you want to fit your small accessories and then yes just a simple curve back i'm not sure if it's flattering but then that's okay inside there's a drawstring as well but then honestly these leggings are so compressive already like you don't need to make them tighter you could actually size up in these ones so that you could avoid muffin top i think it was like that in my case so i think next time if ever i would want to try these again, I should try a size 8. Pretty much that's it for the Swift Speed high rise tights and for Lululemon in general. We're actually on the second to the last brand now, so next I'll be talking about Alphalete. Yes, they have a Canadian distribution center, so I didn't have to worry about getting charged extra for customs or other fees. I hope they'll be able to display some Canadian prices in the future. Bug Bunny has Canadian prices on their website, so that's fine. It's easier for me to keep track of how much I spent, but then in Alphalete's website, it's just not the case at the moment. But then, anyway, enough brands. These are from their surface collection. I just wanted to try them because the colors are pretty cute, especially this blue. So this is the Surface Altitude Sports Bra. I got in a size large. I graduated from a medium to a large completely. I think I'm more comfortable in the large in general. We're all good. It's just slightly brushed, but then it gives you more of that performance feel. If you do not want to highlight your back or your armpit fats, definitely size up so that it could lessen the emphasizing something like that but i really like this color it's called neverland and it has a nice square neckline which is why i think i got this as well because of the square neck i think they should make the straps longer as well and it's a nice crisscross detail at the back the hole <laughs> really highlights that but then yeah if you want to lessen that size up these are the surface power leggings the one with the crisscross waist this color is more brushed Look at this, it's, you could see fuzzies already, which is really strange. Kind of reminds me of the Alpha Lux collection. It feels like this, it doesn't feel... Yeah, this is more brushed compared to the Surface Altitude Sports Bra. But anyway, I like this color, it's called Meteorite. No front seam, has a cross waist. I think the cross waist is flattering, but then I prefer the regular high rise because it doesn't look good on my body shape. I don't really have anything bad to say about these leggings. It's just that they're more prone to pilling than I thought compared to the sports bra, even if they're made with the same fabric. So I'm not sure what's going on, but then maybe it's just for this color alone. You could size up as well because the waistband is more on the compressive side it kind of digs in to me probably because i should size up as well when you wear it it really feels nice on the legs honestly it's pretty much brushed on the inside which is why it feels like cool and warm if you like those kinds of waistbands now's the time to try alphalete next we have the candy apple set so this is a really really nice color they also launched a new style of leggings that time in the surface collection just why I wanted to try it as well. Okay, let's start with the sports bra. This is the tri bra. They've always had this, but then I was never really drawn to trying it out until they went on sale recently. Not the Black Friday one, but recently on the Canadian side. Something like that. So yes, this is the tri bra. This is how it looks like at the back. 
the strap hurts my neck so i wasn't really sure to size up as well because i could feel that it's big even if i'm really a size large the chest part it fits okay it's just that the top part fits tight so i guess it's because i have a wide neck as well which is why i felt like the straps were digging into my neck it feels like you're not wearing anything though <laughs> it's just that thing on the neck that's it nothing much else to say and we'll move on to the leggings to complete the set so these are the surface elevation leggings in the color candy apple one of the reasons why i got this pair is because it looks similar to the Lululemon Swift Speed, which I also have. Yes, yeah, so you can see the waistband on the Swift Speed is wider than the surface elevation. And then this one has no front seam, the Lululemon one has. You can't go wrong with the Lux Room fabric of Lululemon for working out and for running. These will really hold up well and sweat dries up really quickly with this fabric. And then these surface elevation leggings they're really brushed but then i think they're more on the stretchy side compared to the surface power leggings i say i recommend these ones more because they hold up better i find that the waistband on these kind of falls and rolls down i guess it's because of the because of my shape as well but it really depends on your preference and what's nice about alpha leaf leggings they also have this embossed logo some of their logos though they were like embroidered like on the amplified leggings makes me look like i have wide hips already these ones make me look like i have wider hips than i imagined if you like those try these this marks the end of the alpha leaf haul okay we're finally down to our last brand and i know this video is kind of long already if you like these kinds of massive hauls like that take longer than 10 minutes let me know if you like videos that are not 10 minutes long like shorter than that let me know as well so that i can keep in mind for the future but yeah we'll continue with the buff bunny i will talk about the pieces from their frozen collection i'll start off with this top actually you could see this fabric in other items like the pullover shorts a dress even and there's one more i just can't remember but anyway this is the cami tank top it's just a simple v-neck tank top a cami tank it's not that stretchy as i imagined and they have adjustable straps at the back they also have like removable pads so there's like a shelf bra inside and this is in a size large so i think i could have gotten a medium because this fits really big even if i tried to adjust the straps they have like this metal logo here which you can find also in their other items made with this material so the material it's not scratchy it's more that soft velvet uh corduroy is that the term and they also have like a zipper detail at the side yeah but it goes all the way down is this a favorite piece probably not but then for the price it's good and if you're looking for these types of tops for the holiday season definitely try it it's not that bad but it's not my favorite either and yeah perfect lounge piece as well so we're done with this one next i have two sports bras i actually reviewed these sports bras in my massive buff bunny haul video that i created i'm gonna link that video below too so that you could see these are the blizzard zip up sports bras so yes from the name itself it has a zipper in the front and then some cut out details on the sides which i think sometimes are okay but at the same time i don't know you just want to wear these on a good day but then it's nice and compressive it really fits well i think what size is this is this a large Okay, this is in a medium this time, which is why I think it fit like a large. So definitely size down, especially in your, if you're in between. But then initially I got the medium back then and that really fit well too. So yes, this is in the color black. And then this is in the color, I could be wrong, polar. I hope I got that right. But then yes, it's really nice. I wouldn't recommend this for floor exercises because you really feel the zipper. Um hurting you in a way it's really nice especially if you're like lifting and for high impact workouts because it really compresses you in it's more of that performance material and very sweat wicking too so if you're on the market for zip up sports bras you can get these ones and i hope they're still on sale but they had these in like four or five colors and hopefully they'll bring these kinds of bras back in future collections 
So yes, Blizzard Zipbox Sports Bra. Then I got a pair of biker shorts. I think these are the Limitless biker shorts. So it's same, they're made with polyester and spandex. It's more in that silky, soft and stretchy performance fabric. I actually like the Limitless leggings as well because their pockets are just like so big and spacious. And same with the shorts. And it's a nice biker length. I think it's six or seven inches, if not eight. It kind of digs in. So if you're in between sizes, you could definitely size up. You just have to be careful where the print hits because sometimes it may look like you have camel toe issues. But then, yeah, these really work well. Stretchy waistband. And this is really more for high impact, for sure. You also have this in the snow camo pattern. And there's this pretty print. It's like a faded thing. I'm going to put a picture because I wasn't able to get that sooner but this is also one of their oldest pieces like the limitless line so i'm pretty sure they'll bring these back because it's like a favorite as well we're done with the frozen line next i got a piece from their rebel launch and this was also on sale like a few months ago this is the boo sports bra and initially i wanted to get a bigger size so that i could function as a top I think the front is really loose. There's so much space. I can't wear it as a sports bra either. It has like a mesh detail in the front, which I think is really flattering. And it's an, also a slight v-neck. Also mesh detail at the back. And I actually like the back as well. It's like a simple box cut. It's also like a performance fabric. And one thing though, this, I got an extra large in this. And this really keeps going up and down, up and down. And I know it's normal because it's a bigger size, but then it's supposed to stay if you get your true size. I could see this as like a sweat wicking fabric for sure. But yeah, the Boo Sports Bra from the Rebel Collection. And then next is this pair of shorts from the Let's Get Toned Collection. I think this was their first launch of 2021. But anyway, these are the Material Girl ribbed biker shorts also like an eight inch and i got them in a size medium i usually get the medium in all of the athletic tight fitting shorts it looks tiny at first look at the waistband it just feels nice it's also a ribbed material really stretchy soft on the inside as well yeah this is the interior fabric it's like it's like slight fleece as well one thing that i didn't like about these shorts though is that the pockets are really small it's just shaped like a triangle and then you can't really fit anything but marbles what or keys or your chewing gum something like that and then this is the back it's a nice flattering v and then they also have this metal logo pin detail at the back if you have smaller thighs you could definitely size down as these are really stretchy i haven't tried the leggings and i heard those were stretchier if you worry about the seams at the thighs you could definitely stay true to size sizing up i think these will fall down but yeah, these are nice ribbed shorts. And finally, we have a bossy print set. I know it's like also a favorite. It's also one of my favorites, actually. So this is the bossy print of the Revolution Sports Bra and the Legacy Biker Shorts. Both are made with the Nubri fabric. So actually, they had a collection called the Nubri Launch or the Nubri Collection where all of their pieces that we're launching that time were made with the Nubri. If you don't have any piece made with the Nubri fabric yet, it's like a more compressive and double lined Nulu fabric in my opinion. Like in this case, this color or this print is more compressive compared to solid colors. So just to keep that in mind. So yes, the bossy print. And I got this a long time ago. So this Revolution Sports Bra, I love the square neck detail. I love how soft it is. Since I graduated from a medium to a large in sports bras, I think it's time to let this go. But I really, really like it. Look at the back as well. So flattering and has medium support. I think they updated the height of this square neck in recent launches. So you could definitely stay true to size if you have a bigger cup size now but then this is really old which is why i mentioned that you should size up for older revolution sports bras but yeah it's really nice and stretchy oh and also to add i guess i shouldn't keep the medium anymore this part this metal part kind of digs into my back it just leaves a mark on my back it's not really harmful or anything but 
Next time, I will get the large in the Revolution sports bra, for sure. To go with that Revolution sports bra, I have the Legacy Biker Shorts. I reviewed these in my Buff Bunny video, but I don't think I ever posted like a try-on clip, so I'm sorry about that. But anyway, these are the original Legacy Biker Shorts, glossy prints as well. I find it cool how they were able to release the glossy print in two other colors, the red one and the pink one. Which I find so cute, but I think the pink ones are sheer, so I will stay away from that. These are the Legacy Biker Shorts size medium, and then look at the details at the back, which I think are really flattering. No front seam, we all love that, and there's no risk for a camel toe in these biker shorts because of the print itself, and if ever you have issues, it's not going to be visible in my opinion. I really like this length, I have not tried the shorts or the shorter version, which are like three or four inches long. If you have bigger thighs, you could size up because these kind of dig in. It's just this part that is kind of constrictive. They always bring these back because the bossy print is like a favorite. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Buff Bunny and for the haul in general. Okay, this actually marks the end of my active wear slash lounge clothing pre-Black Friday slash Black Friday 2021 sale haul. I honestly do not know what the real title of this video is, but then whatever you see right now, it's bound to change. And anyway, if ever you've tried the pieces that I've shown you, or if you want to try any of these pieces, or if you have any feedback in general, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you're looking forward to future haul videos, you can hit the subscribe button or even turn on post notifications, because you'll never know when I'll post another video again. And finally, I just want to say thank you so much for actually watching this video and for staying until the end. I know it's really long already, but I really appreciate you for staying until the end, you know? And yeah, if there isn't anything else, I hope you all have a great time shopping in Black Friday or for the holiday season. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>